three, two, one. Hello, why is she turning on? Are you even on? What's happening? <laughs> Sorry, lens cap. Come on, Bradley. You had one job. One job. Amateur! Wasn't that a mess? All right, but you know what, guys? It's okay, because we're safe now. We made it past the expedition, and now we're at the spot. We're at guidance. You know I need some guidance, because sometimes, speaking of my courses, that can be a real jungle. <laughs> what would you expect? This is Coral Glades, home of the Jaguars. We're in the jungle now. Oh, I think we gotta get out of here. Yeah. What's the best pathway to take? Well, I'm kind of hungry. Let's stop by the culinary class, get some grub. Of course you are. Hi, I'm Dr. Grant. I teach culinary arts. I'm one of four classes in a culinary arts program here at the high school that um, teaches students how to become service employees in the food service industry. One of the things that you do have to do if you take this course is you have to take the certification exam. In our case, it's an industry examination called ServSafe, which deals mostly with kitchen safety, sanitation, and hygiene. Now, this exam is really cool because it's nationally recognized. So, and I encourage the kids, if you want to travel and go outside of the state when you graduate high school, you can take the certification with you. It lasts for five years. So even if they don't use it right away, right after they graduate high school, they're able to get a managerial job. So they're obviously going to get paid more money than getting an entry level job. It's really helpful to keep food safety at the first priority, to not getting people sick from eating stuff that's been contaminated. Um, I think it can be really helpful for any upcoming jobs, even if it's not really in the food industry, it's just also a really good thing to put on your application, because it shows that you know more about other subjects. We are sponsored through the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, and we are a ProStart school. ProStart is kind of the, um, the funding and the backing that we get from the state of Florida through the, the Restaurant and Lodging Association to be able to promote these programs at our school. Statistically, most students um, who are getting entry-level jobs, I think the statistic is 8 out of 10 will start in food service. And food service, you have to understand, it's anything related to food. So even if you work at Publix and you're not necessarily making food, but you're working with food, it's still considered a food job. If you work at the movie theater and you're selling popcorn, that's still food. So when you realize how many places you can get and which food service is one of the best and easiest jobs to get as an entry-level person, and then to be able to move up, being able to train our students and getting those managerial skills to be able to move up quick, it's a it's a really rewarding job. Mmm, really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. You know, we shouldn't be eating all that, actually. Why not? You're going to get fat for the Jaguar, and you're going to be some good eating. Okay? Hey, ma'am, I don't have to run faster than the Jaguar. I'm just going to run faster than you. Uh, why would you say that? Hey, ma'am, you're so concerned about health. Let's go stop by Mr. Delgado's room and Miss Made's room. Three bones in your pelvic girdle. Anyone remember the hip bones? I put my hands on my hip. What am I putting? Ilium. What we learn in here is all about the body. Up and down, head to toe. Spine, back, you name it, we got it. So Mr. Goddard's anatomy and physiology class basically covers muscles, bones, and different physiology of the body. Anatomy and physiology is the study of how organs function and how organs look and how they are positioned in the body as well as the bones and the structure of the body. Right now we're learning about the bones and we're learning what the bones are called, what their classification is short or long, and right now we're talking about the insides of the bones, the bone marrow, the spongy bone. So here we have the skull and the mandible, which is basically the jaw. The mandible is the only uh, bone in the cranium that moves. And when you chew, you don't bite down, you bite up. And that is part of the axial, which also includes the sternum, or sternum is the middle part, and the ribs, as well as the spine, and the pelvis. That is the axial. And then uh, out here we have the appendages, we have the humor. My name is Miss Delgado. My class of anatomy and physiology teaches kids about the structure and function of all parts of the body. Um, right now we're on the skeleton system and so far they like it. We're just getting to know the bones. They like the bones. Um, and when we come back, we'll learn the functions of each part of the skeletal system. 
The anatomy and physiology class is very easy. It's straightforward. You go through the systems of the body. And then for the health science foundations class, that's the next level up. That talks about the moral, ethical, professional aspects of healthcare, also covering the different systems that are involved in healthcare, insurances and that type of thing. Like this program in specific, it's like taught me about like health literacy and like insurance and all the things like ethics within like the medical field. And then for my older class, my senior class, I have Allied Health 3, which is Certified Medical Administrative Assistant and EKG Technician. These are both um, certification classes that any adult can go and take and have entry level jobs as a front office person or an EKG technician in a hospital or a doctor's office. And they both have very structured curriculum that I follow and then with my uh, knowledge of healthcare, I'm able to relate to the children and bring it back uh, to the classroom. In our CPR certification, we went over the procedures and steps, um, such as the depth and the timing and breaths, and the difference between two-person and one-person CPR. And that's what we did, two-person CPR, which was um, assessing the situation, telling your partner to activate emergency response and get the AED, and then immediately starting the CPR and getting the AED on as fast as possible because every second counts. Um, guys, I think I lost Ronan and Bradley. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're at the business pathway. Do you want to travel the country? Are you excited about business management, marketing, financial literacy, and tourism? Well, Mr. Goldfinger's Business Pathway is the right choice for you. If you join this class, you'll have the opportunity to join the DECA program and compete in a wild variety of business-based competitions with real-world implications. You'll also receive a certification in Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested, check out the DECA program. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, Walking across all these pathways has really got my quad sore. <coughs> Tell me about it. I think I'm gonna take a breather. Hey man, that's great, but I don't think this is the perfect place to do that. What do you mean? I think I saw something moving in the bushes over there. Oh my god, it's a jaguar. What, really? It's an actual really? jaguar. I thought yeah, it was a jaguar. Go, go, go. Okay, you know what? I'm done with this Jaguar stuff, dude. I'm done. I think we need someone more qualified for the job. Well, we are at the JRTC room. If anyone can handle this, it's Sergeant Dean, Sergeant Neville, oh, and all okay. their qualified students. I hear they get some pretty nifty jobs at the military. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Company, attention. <laughs> recite. Could I read recite? I am your ITC that. Command Sergeant Major D. Jordan Nipples. So the skills that the kids learn here in JRTC is um, leadership. It's one of them. And it's a lot of kids that once they graduate, they go out and explore different jobs. Some want to be entrepreneurs. So with the leadership skills that they learn here, they can implement that um, with whatever job that they go out and do. Because at some point, they're going to have to be a supervisor or in charge of something. And those skills that they learn here in JROTC will most definitely help them out. Along with discipline, you have to be disciplined, have to be patient. And all of that stuff you do learn here while in JROTC, which sets them up, hopefully for success if they implement them correctly once they graduate and they go out there in the real world. Um, not necessary um, certificates, but it is an ASVAB test that is taken here um, within the program for 10th graders and higher that they can take if they would like to join the military. Um, that test is for that, but the ASVAB test is also um, to show them 
other skills that they can have, that they do have and that they can use once they graduate. That it be in mechanic, human resources, IT, um, different kind of um, skills that is given on the test. So it can show them where they're weak at and where their strengths are at in order for them to use once they graduate, depending on if they join the military or not. You know, this place kind of looks more like a school than a safari. What's going on? Oh, I never really knows. Chamber's on. Oh, um, um, uh, so <laughs> Chiro DC, am I right? Crazy you can build robots in Dr. Dean's class. Yeah, right. I would have never expected that. What if we use the robots to help us on the safari, bro? Come on, dude. We're not going to use any AI to help us on the safari. I'm not saying AI. I'm saying robots. The robots could protect us from a jaguar. I joined robotics because my mom is interested in Transformers, and especially when it came out in 2003. So what she did was introduce me to it, and I was always interested in robots and then. And then I was also on a go to find a school that had robotics, and Everglades was my only other choice, but I didn't want to go that far. And that's why I met Sergeant Dean during the 8th grade uh, introduction to everyone. And I saw, oh, they had a robotics room, and that was really cool. And during that year, I discovered that there's a lot of fun people that you can meet, especially in robotics. And then we even went to nationals that year. And what made me join it again this year was we already got invited to nationals, so why not keep going? And I think that's a really good path because I wanted to become an engineer, which is why I also want to go to FIU because they have a great uh, robotics academy that just came out. Whatever. Well, hey, if you're interested in that, maybe we can go check out aerospace programming and engineering. Huh. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to engineering. Have you ever thought about a career in engineering? Well, you're in luck. Mr. Kimmelstein's Engineering Pathway is a really cool program in Coral Glades with a lot of equipment and some really nice certifications. I'm Mr. Kimmelstein. I'm the engineering teacher here at Coral Glades High School. In the engineering program, we offer four different certifications, starting with Autodesk Fusion, then going to Autodesk AutoCAD, Autodesk Inventor, and finally SolidWorks. All four programs uh, are industry-based certifications and will help you earn a job in the future. Fusion helps me by like teaching me how to create different drawings and like items in the software. So, whether you like designing or actually creating things with the equipment, Mr. K's Pathway is something you should definitely check out. Hi, how you doing? My name's uh, Mr. Farrow. Um, I teach three different courses here at Coral Blades High. I teach Advanced IT Honors, which is all website building, um, HTML programming. Um, I also teach AP Computer Science, um, and I teach Cybersecurity. Um, each program has their own certification exam. Um, so the HTML, they get HTML certified. Um, AP Computer Science also does Java. And then uh, cybersecurity, it depends on which cybersecurity course you take, uh, but each one has their own certification exam that will benefit you as you graduate college and kind of get into any type of computer field that you may want to have. If you've ever seen those super advanced airplane simulators and you wanted to try them out, the aerospace pathway is definitely the place for you. In this class, you learn about all matters flight related and you even get to access an advanced flight simulator. Throughout the course, you'll have access to two large certifications. The first one is a certification to fly drones. And if you stick throughout the entire course, you'll be able to get a pilot's license for unmanned vehicles. Otherwise, even larger drones. If this interests you in the slightest, make sure to check out the Aerospace Pathway. Hey man, you know, these pathways and stuff are interesting, but yeah. I think it's getting a little late. You know, I don't want to walk around here forever. With our luck, we're going to get eaten by the Jaguar. I don't think you have to worry about that. Why is that? Look! You know what? That's it. I've had it. I've had enough of this, dude. Can we find somewhere that's safe or someone that's safe? Like a lawyer or something? Well, now that you say that, I do know Mr. Bochamp has a law studies program. Let's go. Are you interested in becoming a lawyer or any job that has to do with the legal profession? Law Studies is one of the great industry certification programs that we have to offer here at Crowley High School. 
We are going to be offering a very new certification. It's called the Accredited Legal Professional. And this is going to be something that we're now introducing both here at Coral Glades and several other high schools. And students will have the opportunity to take uh, the ALP test where they'll actually be an accredited legal professional. This would be great just for the resume alone, the fact that they actually completed this course um, or received that certification, but certainly they could walk into any um, law office and show that certification and it gives them a leg up on getting a job there. Uh, for the class, all they got to do is go into their course card and put in law. We also have a student law association. They meet usually every other Monday right here in my room. We do a lot of mock trials and stuff together, mm -hmm. so it's really collaborative. Mm -hmm. um, so we get to work together and it's like really good because you meet a lot of people and make a lot of friends. I think that'll really help because I'm learning a lot of what we do learn in law school and we also learn um, how uh, undergrad and law school works if you want to become a lawyer um, and then we are learning like how to do mock trials and courtroom procedures so that will also help like if there's like a case in a courtroom. Hi my name is uh, Miss Pine I am the early childhood education teacher for all levels so here at Coral Glades we have a program called early childhood education where we allow students to get real life practice within the classroom um, upon graduation they receive something called their CDA which allows students to be a lead preschool teacher at 18 years old um, so first we saw our, our level one which is an introductory course um, there we learn the basics then we move on to level two and level two is where we start working on our professional portfolio. So we start working on this in level two, and we continue on for level two, three, and four. Um, and level two is also where we begin working within the field. So we go to local schools um, and intern within the classroom because we have to receive 480 hours working with children. Some schools that we're currently in right now are Westchester Elementary, Parkside Elementary, and Maplewood. Um, we work in the VPK or preschool classes, kindergarten classes, first grade, and sometimes in second grade. Um, and you also take a CDA exam. Upon passing all of those things, you then receive your CDA um, upon graduation. Again, it's only active when you're 18 years old um, and you can go into the field and work. It's a great program, lots of fun. Um, hope that you will join us. Whew, that's a little more my speed, but it's getting a little late now, so I think we should maybe head back to Mr. Alonzo's pathway. All right, let's go. Let's go. Have you ever had an idea for a story that you want to see on the big screen? Well then, the TV production program here at Coral Glades is for you. We focus on teaching the students how to use technology to tell stories vi through video. Here at TV production, we do much more than just the daily morning announcements. There are numerous groups always working on new projects, like news packages, music videos, short films, and more. There's two things. You have the class and the club. In the class, Mr. Alonzo will teach you about making videos, whether that be films or newscasts. Another great thing about the program is you get certified. I'm certified in Premiere Pro, which means that I can actually work in editing. I've done it before. I've worked at some companies and I've edited videos for them and gotten paid. One of the largest benefits to TV production is the certifications you can get. Adobe Premiere is the leading digital editing software for video. Uh, After Effects is a special effects software. And uh, if you certify in both of those, those are employable skills. You could be hired to apply those skills uh, in, in the industry. Um, I don't know, the class is just kind of fun. And we get to see everybody's like things after we finish our like videos and stuff and we get to watch everybody's. I think that's pretty fun. If you're interested in film, news, or any video related activity, check out the TV production class or club. This is Rona Tutroni with WJAG TV, signing off. Where have you guys been? Uh, Mr. Alonzo, you don't understand. It was terrible. There was a jaguar. Yeah. It was chasing it was, us. It was awful. It was, it was really bad. It was really, really bad. Oh, you've been on safari. Okay. Well, the safari is over. I've taught you better than that. Get in the edit bay and get, get editing, please. Thank you. Okay. Do you think these, this is a good, good clip? Yeah, I think that's good. Man, I wish I was back at the safari. Me too.
All right, I think we got that. We'll just drag it in and let's start editing.